how to answer discuss questions in economics um so today's video we're going to be having a look at how to answer any discuss questions in economics um usually these questions hold about eight marks six marks um a lot of marks actually and therefore i decided to make a special video just for these types of questions because you need to talk a lot about these questions or whatever the question is asking you to do you must need to know how to approach these types of questions okay so um in these types of questions there are four main things to have a look at the first one is knowledge okay now examiners will have a look at your knowledge and what i mean by this is you need to show that you can identify what the question is asking and you can also show um you know how you understand this question for example if they can ask you or later on this video i'm going to be doing a question on discuss and the question is going to be discuss whether the government should tax demerit goods now you need to show an understanding what is demerit goods what is tax okay and so in a discuss question you must you know show the examiner these definitions so that they can know that you have understood the question so that's the first thing that you need to do in this type of question the second thing that you need to do is the analysis okay so the analysis now in the analysis you need to have a look at the chain of arguments now in economics um you know there's always two sides the advantages and the disadvantages in the analysis you need to have a look at both sides not only the good side but also maybe the harmful side for example in that question whether the government should tax demerit goods now of course there will be benefits like you know um there will be no over consumption of alcohol but at the same time there can also be disadvantages like maybe there can be black markets for example so that's just an example if you don't understand the question right now don't worry i will be explaining it um just after i explain what you need to know in this type of question so that's the second one the analysis the third one would be the application okay. and you need to show um your answer in these sort of forms and the application simply talks about having a look at or analyzing and evaluating according to the context so in here you are basically analyzing and you are evaluating that that means you're giving both sides now the difference between these two is simply you know how you bring it out okay now in the analysis you'd simply you know start off with the introductory by saying um you know demerit goods are this demerit goods are caused by this um and you're just basically stating the arguments but the application is going in depth the application would simply say these are the advantages these are the disadvantages okay and then lastly we have the evaluation now the evaluation is very important okay now many students miss this out the evaluation simply is a counter argument okay now you do get marks for this okay now it's up to the student to decide for example if it's 8 marks it's up to the student to decide maybe um 6 marks for benefits and 2 for disadvantages or you can do the opposite 6 for disadvantages and 2 for benefits so you are allowed to do that okay uh, but many students miss that out so you need to have an eye on that now keeping that said we need to now have a look at a question and how you can answer it okay so the question that we're going to be tackling is discuss whether the government uh sorry uh spell that wrong whether the government should tax the merit goods now the first thing you'd ever do in any discuss question okay for example let's say this is 6 marks Now, for any question in discuss, the first thing you would do is highlight the key points. Okay, that's the first thing that you need to have a look at. Now, when I'm having a look at this, okay, when I'm having a look at this, I can see that tax is a very important um, keyword and demerit goods. Okay, I've done that. Okay, tax and demerit goods. Now that means I need to, you know, show the examiner that I understand what these terms mean. So I'll start by saying, um, sorry, uh, let's just increase the font. Uh, So to start by saying um what tax is so tax is simply the amount issued um for income or expenditure as simple as that okay you just need to tell the examiner that you understand what tax means so you can say this is the amount 
issued now you can also go in depth by saying this is you know an amount that is cut in um, consumers income or in simple words you can just say this is the amount issued for income and expenditure so that basically means that whenever I buy something, there's a tax. Whenever I gain an income, I have a tax. Okay, so it's a very, you know, brief definition, but this definition will give you a mark, okay? This definition can give you a mark, but don't rely on this. You know, this is just for a backup. Sometimes the examiners don't give you marks on definitions, but, you know, it's important to know or just, you know, it's a good habit to list um, the definitions of the keywords in the question. So I've defined tax. The next one I can define is demerit goods, okay? So demerit goods. Now demerit goods are simply harmful effects to the society, okay? So these are harmful products, okay? So let's just say products. These are harmful products that provide a negative negative impact on the society okay so as brief as that again demerit goods are simply harmful products that provide a negative impact on the society okay so keeping that said now we move on to the analysis okay this is where you say the chain of arguments now already i can notice that in this question you can say harmful effect on the society is due to overproduction and when there's overproduction there's overconsumption and overconsumption you know would have a very bad effect on society okay because you know people are consuming demerit goods which are you know not helping the economy in any sort of way okay so let's now start with the um analysis okay and we can start by saying you know how are demerit goods you know affecting or why do we need to tax these demerit goods let's start from there okay and we can say demerit goods okay we can say that demerit goods have external costs have external now when we were doing um market failure i'm sure you must have come across this um this definition external costs uh and basically external costs are simply you know just ignored by the producers and um or the consumers which will therefore lead to overproduction okay so these are just some factors that are ignored by the, produ the producers and the consumers so you can even say that the external costs are often ignored okay ignored by the producer slash the consumer okay you can you can say that even the consumers can ignore these external costs okay and therefore you can say therefore um leading to overproduction okay because they're not noticing these external costs because to them they all want to just get profit they don't care about anything else okay but that's where the government steps in okay and remember the question says whether the government should tax good you know so we're now analyzing the chain of arguments we've not given out points but we're analyzing you know this so that being said um so let's move on to the next one now i'll have to go up and rub um this so let's just quickly rub it um sorry let's just rub it Okay, now we are going to start giving the points. We've given our chain of argument a bit, but now let's give us some points, okay? Now let's say, okay, remember the question down here was saying uh, whether these tax, okay? So let's now bring in the factor of tax, okay? How can tax, you know, help these external costs, okay? So let's start from there, okay? Now you can say that tax, okay? Tax uh, will internalize, internalize the external costs okay that basically means that now they need to have a look at external costs okay by transferring okay you can say by transferring the burden to the consumer okay now what that means is that when i tax you know these external costs okay now an, an example of an external cost would be pollution okay 
Now, if I tax, I'd say, uh, let's say maybe, you know, if you pollute this certain amount, uh, you know, in the production, you will get a higher tax, okay? Now, if there's a higher tax, the production costs increase, okay? Uh, and therefore, the consumers will have a bigger burden because now they have to pay more, okay? And therefore, they will have a look at external costs, okay? Because, you know, the producers, of course, want to sell the most at uh, a more profitable rate. And so they must have a look at external costs. So tax will help them in that way. Okay. Now, another thing uh, is that taxes is a very good form. Tax is a very good form of revenue. Revenue of the government and remember demerit goods are basically addictive okay most demerit goods are addictive and hence keeping a tax on it will mean there will be more income to the government now i'm not going to write all of that but in your question paper you should include that too now let's just go straight because it's only six marks and not eight marks we can just straight up and start drawing a diagram now this diagram can explain how when i put tax what will happen to the supply for example okay so let's have a look at this so i have a diagram here it's um a simple um a diagram here so price and you got your quantity always label and then you have the demand curve right here and then of course you got the supply curve now the supply curve will move from s1 to s2 so it'll go shift to the left okay whenever tax is introduced because whenever tax is introduced then you know there will be a fall in supply okay so as simple as that now let's move down um and let's uh rub this um uh, sorry yeah, there you go stroke okay let's just rub all of it Okay, so now let's have a look at the evaluation. Now, the evaluation has a look at the drawbacks, the counter arguments, okay? Now, you can say that high taxes can lead to tax um, evasion, for example. Now, what tax evasion basically means is that people will now start selling stuff in the black market because tax is so expensive, you know, in the normal world. Okay, so you can just say through black market so there's an counter argument there that you know if i put higher taxes there will be um tax evasion and therefore black markets will lead to lower income for the government okay so it's sort of like a chain there okay and economics most of the questions are like a chain so you need to keep that in mind okay so everything must you know follow up and that's how economics works. Now you can give another counter uh, argument. So you can say that um, if the unit tax, okay, which means the you know start tax is too low, okay, meaning you know if you have put a tax but it's too low, okay, there won't be be a significant change, okay, because remember the merit goods are demerit goods are addictive okay and because if they're addictive you know for example cigarettes you know people still buy cigarettes because of the high tax because the tax may be so low that it doesn't even you know affect their income okay so that means they will continue consuming that because the tax is so low there will be no effect and instead you know the government is gaining no revenue and the problem of demerit goods will still be there um, so, you know, there's no point of, um, you know, taxing demerit goods, okay? And finally, you can also say that you instead of doing this, you can simply just educate uh, people about harmful effects, okay, by, you know, advertising. So, this is a more efficient way, okay? So, there you go, and um, that's sort of an 
analysis, evaluation, knowledge, application, everything in one question. That I guarantee will give you those six marks in your examination. If you have any question related to this type of question right here, um, feel free to comment down below and I will try to answer you as quick as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.